There is nothing like winning and losing. There is winning and learning. President Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, a warm evening, all of you. I was asking Stacy, what should I share or speak on an icebreaker? He said, you can talk about yourself or your experiences. Since I have introduced myself last time, let me share about myself through my experiences. My name is Ranjit Kumar Devasahai. My name has a special meaning. Ranjit means Ran means battlefield and Jeet means winner. So my name translates as battle victorious. So I was when I was uh, a young boy, I was very proud of my name <coughs> with the chest up with the invisible sword in my hand, walking around, I can win everybody. And one day, I went and told my parents that I'm so proud of my name. They said, Nola, don't be so proud. You know how you got this name? Your mom water broke and we were rushing to the hospital. On the way, we found a clinic. The clinic's name is Ranjit's Clinic. <laughs> and the doctor who treated you, his name also Ranjit. So we didn't want to break our head to choose a new name for you. So we name you Ranjit. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and they, they told me, we don't even know the meaning of your name. <laughs> that struck me really hard. That made me realize that we cannot be proud with what we are bestowed with. We should be proud with what we create and what we do. During my primary school days, I had to take bus from my home to the school and there is a biscuit factory on the way and the aroma of the biscuit is so beautiful. My friend, every day, when we pass the biscuit factory, he drinks a bottle of water. I was very curious. I was asking him, how come you are drinking water every day when you pass the biscuit factory? He was telling me, I'll tell you a secret. The water tastes biscuit. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's something very interesting. Let me try. Then next day, I was all prepared. And when we crossed the biscuit factory, I drank the water and it tasted biscuit. <laughs> wow, that taught me a lesson. What we feed in your brain, your body will react. Mm -hmm. So when, we, when I started feeding myself with a lot of positive things, creative things, I became more energetic. And during my secondary school days, like a typical teenage boy, I never used to do homework, never used to do project work. And during those days, teachers whack us like anything. Not like nowadays. If the teacher stares at you, the parents show up tomorrow to the school. <laughs> okay. Like, yes, parents like me, even for the primary students, we go and ask the teacher, why you stare at my children, <laughs> child. So that day, I didn't do my homework. And the teacher was in a very bad mood. I don't know why. He made everybody stand up who have not done the project and whacking everyone black and blue. When my turn was about to arrive, there was an announcement that there is a writing competition for secondary students. Anybody interested to participate in the writing competition, go to the conference hall. I snatched that opportunity to escape from the beating. I ran to the conference hall. And there, the competition is like this. They gave one small sentence. I mean, you write a long story on that. And I understood the sentence. And I wrote a long story, maybe about 15, 20 pages. And to my surprise, I won the competition. Wow. That's when I realized that I can write. I can write a lot of books. Like, I can write a lot. After that, I started writing, especially a lot of letters during my teenage days. Then I did my graduation in naval architecture. And did a lot of projects on ship designing and a lot of successful projects, but my passion of writing didn't stop. I wrote. I wrote a book and I completed a book. I was so proud that time because I finished the book. And when, when the book was about to publish, I was thinking myself like millionaire author. My book will go millionaire and I may become the next JK Rowling. I can win and all those dreams. And I, the book was published and it failed because I, I lost business though the book was the best it was appreciated by the teachers by librarians even ministers you can find my book in all the libraries school libraries everywhere but I incurred a loss in that 
but I failed, but I didn't lose. I learned. Being a first time author, it is not easy to enter into the public industry, publishing industry. So I learned a lot. I will be publishing more books. I'll be writing more books. And if I fail, I will learn. I will never lose. So there is nothing like winning and losing. There is just winning and learning. Thank you.